Good afternoon. Here we are. Oh, it is a beautiful house. Sorry, I'm just taking it all in myself from the outside. I looked inside a little bit. Anyway, uh, we've got this beautiful, I guess, wrought iron, uh, black fence out here. Pretty well goes all the way around till you get to the driveway. Let's check out the house though itself. I, you can barely just see it. I'll zoom real quick. It's like just very ornate kind of finishings um, on that soffit and fascia there, which is cool. And I actually don't see wood rot on it. I see where they had some wood rot or something, so they've gone through and done what they needed to. But um, I don't see any up there, so I'm assuming they redid that at some point. Some of the brick needs to be scraped, painted. Oh, there we've got some wood rot. You can kind of see there. So this beam and then that soffit up there as well. But I mean, guys, it's an old house. We're going to have some of that. Windows are older. Um, so even what you do have there, I mean, wouldn't, I don't see any broken ones. So it wouldn't be an immediate issue, but definitely want to... Uh, consider as you're doing work on it to include that in your budget is putting new windows in uh, just some more kind of, of where the paint is chipped and where you need to uh, touch up the grout with the red paint or the mortar so it matches but just really cool architecture they did that ornate woodwork all the way around on that soffit and fascia doghouse comes with okay Um, here's kind of your driveway. Similar finishes on the garage. We'll get to that last. Told you they put in a new HVAC system. It's a Ream, so that's fantastic. That's a good brand. Those vines are actually kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know what kind of wear those put onto brick, but they look cool. Character. So yeah, it was a co-op of artists, I guess, that... Oh, no. Let's just see. I came in through the side door, and looks like we're going back to the side door. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. I guess it has one of those locks that locks behind you. I guess while we're out here, let's just do the garage. Well, I'm sorry I added like two minutes to our video, but... You guys don't get to see me much anyhow. I'm sure you don't mind. I see the deadbolt. There it goes. So the handle doesn't actually work. But... Close. You're not closing. Okay, I'll worry about that after. I just wanted to make sure they worked. And that one on the other side is not plugged in or doesn't work. Okay, so quite a bit of useful space. Half bath. Oh, it's a Simmons panel, that's good. Except I can't, I'm not smart enough to get it open. There we go, tons of space. Okay, so this is just for the garage. So inside will have to have its own. So one of the artists, I guess, I don't know what happened with his family or his situation, but was a turnip was living up here. Um, obviously, primitively, but a workable space. Okay, so he did have AC at least, I guess. Very interesting. All right, on 
the way out. Let's see if we can diagnose. Oh, well, no brainer, Logan. Here we go. Helps if that's attached. Come on, guys. What, the fifth time was just the charm, I guess. Make sure she goes all the way down. Perfect. Okay. Well. Door's in pretty beat up shape, but the garage itself looks pretty good. Come back for that. Maybe original door, but you can see some of the glass is fine. This one's been uh, unfortunately shattered, so. Now, we'll just start on the left. That way we can circle back to where we originally come into the house. Um, but yeah, the hardwood floors are in pretty good shape. You can tell where there's been some settling uh, right here. We kind of go, you can feel it step up a little bit. Uh, the ones in this floor, or in this room, are pretty good. A few spots that are softer than others. But, um, let's see, this would probably be like a sitting room. I'm trying to think, formal dining. Gosh, there's just so many rooms in these older houses. Just stay on the left side. We do have our pocket doors. So those are fantastic. They've come through and done some repainting with this plaster and lath and the trim. Oh, such a cool space. Oh, it does have a gas starter. Okay. Of course, we'd want to have like our chimney inspector look at it. Really cool space. Here's that front door where we came in. So I'm not going to use it again. Just go ahead and lock it so I don't forget. We'll go upstairs after we do the main floor. Coat closet. Another, just of these rooms here, all in a square. None of them can be, well, I guess this one could technically be a bedroom. No, I thought that was a closet, but it's just the front kind of a side door. Yeah. What tall doorways. Like, that's, there's your standard door. They're tall. Trim, I mean, it's, it's all old, but it's all got that original character, too. So it's, some of it's beat up, but looks good. So here, after we get to this little conglomerate of uh, all open areas and doors, we come through this hall. We can either go back where we came in, kitchen, or laundry slash bathroom. Got some more chipped paint here from what used to be the exterior of the home, and this is, of course, an addition. Uh, we've got some laminate tiling that's not as glued as good as it once was. A lot of the spots still look fine, but some of them need replaced. Old claw tooth tub. This is our basement. We'll do that last. And our kitchen. Uh, pretty big space. Uh, still probably big enough for like a rolling island if you just wanted a little bit more counter space. For mica countertops, they are of course wood, wood cabinets. In pretty good shape, just need some either refinishing or new hardware or something. Um, you can kind of see what I mean by just older windows. We do have a little crack up on that one. No dishwasher. Not that you probably expected one, but worth noting. Huge windows. See, just some more peeling painting. And this is that, uh, 
and my nice guy's screwing it. I don't even remember seeing that. Okay, so there's just a separate door. Did I imagine that? Was there another door on the exterior I just didn't see? Oh, well, sure enough, there was. Okay. All right. We'll go up this way, because now we're back kind of where we started, and we'll come down the other staircase, as long as it circles. Wood railing's in really good shape. The balusters all look like they're in pretty good shape. Stairs themselves as well. So, another choice. We can go right, and then up again, or left, and around. So let's go right first. Oh, it does have an attic fan. Okay, up we go to the creepy attic. Well, truly, I mean, this is, it's got old, old hardwood floors up here too, but some stained glass windows, that's cool. And, uh, I mean, you could turn this into a studio. I want to do a little bit of work to the floor. Um... Not that any of it feels like unsturdy, but definitely want to have it checked out. But just a ton of space to do nothing with. That's cool. Oh, there's that giant attic fan, I guess. All right, we're gonna keep going around. what I would call a bedroom, but there's no closet. Then again, when this house was built, that wasn't required. There's a exhaust line. This is just some storage under the stairs. I don't think we can quite call that a closet. But it, does, it can store axes and things, so that's good. Some more plaster and lath damage. Probably just settling, but could be moisture. I don't know what that does. Okay, we'll hop around to the other side. There's a bathroom up here. Oh, just to get some, that was their original heat source, I guess, for their fireplace to heat the house. Wood floors in here as well. You can kind of hear them creaking beneath me. Tall ceilings. Keep traversing through. Starting on the right here. Their own little hearth. Again, no closet, so you are going to be limited kind of to dressers, wardrobes, um, unless you want to go in and build closets. Keep going down the hallway. Okay, and here's that entry that we saw from the front door that we didn't go up. So we've been down there. A lot of these floors are in pretty decent shape, just have some discoloration from chairs or moisture or whatever through the years. This one's got a very large closet. I think one more, and that wraps it up. Oh, looky there, another built-in closet. Decent size, too. Another little window crack there. Guys, I think that is the full tour. So, I'll get back to the office, hook up to some Wi-Fi, and get it sent to you.